I don't think everybody's on the same side of the boat, but what I, I'm going to be cautious here and really kind of focus on the fact that, yes, some can buy the dip. At Loop Capital Markets, we cover institutional investors ranging from hedge funds to some of the largest asset managers on the planet. And I will tell you unequivocally that many of them are either balanced in what they're buying and selling, or they are better to buy, but they also have a longer time horizon. And I think we need to really think about the fact that time horizon is incredibly key as we think about buying the dip and what your risk tolerance actually is. So for my personal portfolio, there are some names but yes, I'm trading in and out depending on you know where I like the names, where I think they are. And there's others that I've bought and I know that I'm going to close my eyes, hold my breath, take some alpha seltzer, and know that I'm going to be in those names for a while and we're going to see some of those names whipsaw. Um, but again, it's very, very, very specific to the individual's um, portfolios and what their time horizons are. On the institutional side, on our desk today, we are better to buy probably three to one. Um, with these downturns, but a lot of our clients also have to stay fully invested or can only have one to two percent in cash. So that also inhibits their ability to raise, you know, 10, 20 percent um, into cash the way that some other investors can can do. But buy the dip for the long term. This market is going to be resilient. This country, this world is going to be resilient. It's a matter of when. Yeah. You know, it's a very interesting market that we're watching today. It's going to be quite the, the tell, Steve. If, if stocks can fight their way back the way that they did overnight, right, from some of the lower levels of the futures, and now you've got NASDAQ positive, S&P you saw from that intraday that we were just showing you as we're having this conversation, trending towards the, the flat line or even, you know, towards positive, Dow is well off, off of its lows. I thought one of the interesting, or if not most interesting, things I've heard thus far today, Steve, was... You know, almost an aside from, from Kramer this morning in a conversation that he was having with Meg Terrell. Now, Jim had to be very careful in the way he was talking about, so the way he was thinking about advances from a therapeutic, if not vaccine side. But I want to play a clip that I heard on the way in today of Jim talking with Meg about the market overall and whether, you know, if, if it's a good move to join people who are selling stocks. Let's listen. We can talk on the other side. Meg, you and I do a lot of work in this segment off, off record and off, off camera. Uh, Meg, I am getting a level of encouragement about both uh, monoclonal antibody and vaccine that three months ago would have been ridiculous. And uh, those who are selling stocks right now, Meg, I really think that they could be whipsawed uh, because I think the science is coming together faster. Steve, I, I use that as something I didn't want to fall by the wayside today because I, I know we all know the kinds of people that Jim talks to on a regular basis. And I thought that was a pretty profound thought um, of, of thinking the big picture about where we could be going on vaccines and therapeutics and why it's you got to be really careful not to get too negative. That's the bottom line of what he was saying. Don't get too negative and get out of this whole thing because there are advancements that are coming down the line a lot faster than maybe people are thinking. Yeah, and, and I don't think that's a surprise. I actually think that's consensus. Uh, we hear it every day. Moderna came out on Friday, and by the way, it didn't lift the market at all, though it lifted Moderna a little bit, and talked about a 30,000-person study. Uh, the White House came out and narrowed the drug companies to five that have the best chance. So that's not new news in my view, and it's part of the reason why we are where we are. Whether or not people are going to line up to take a vaccine that, by the way, the fastest vaccine that ever came to the market was four years, and we're looking to do it in five months, I know I'm not going to be one of the first to take the preventative vaccine. That's for sure. But look, let, let, let's, let's be reasonable here. And what's being reasonable is that, sure, United did another financing or is trying to do another financing. We don't know the rate that it's going to be. These companies are insolvent. And to believe that they're going to be or that equity holders are going to have any equity in these companies for the foreseeable future is pure folly, in my view. doesn't mean they won't go up. Well, are you, so I Steve, think we're in order, are, you, are you negative, are you negative the, the market? I mean, you, you've sold a lot of things. You bought some puts in Facebook and Skyworks, Corvo, some right. of those 5G stocks. You'd use the word reasonable right, right now. Are, are the views of Mike yep. Wilson and Tom Lee 
and Piper Sandler and Kalanovich, are, are those reasonable views that you should buy the dip? Because things are moving in the right direction yeah. and we're going to be higher down the road. Is that reasonable or is it unreasonable? As Courtney so eloquently put it, it depends on your investment horizon. For my long-term investment horizon, I haven't really touched any of those positions. The trading positions, the airlines I got out of middle last week, I have no intention of going back unless they get crushed again. I think that, look, we've got massive liquidity, but it's not going to, to drive the economy. It's going to put food on the table. We'll get through that. So ultimately, the future is very bright. But right now, we're in a trading range of 2,800, 3,300. I'm not going to play the, uh, or 3,100 even, I'm not going to play the game of who can have the highest buy target on the street. To me, that's just marketing for these guys. Nope.